Hi, I'm Drew Thompson, one of the market development agronomists with Pride Seeds, and I'm here today to talk about relative maturity in corn. And relative maturity is just that, it's relative. It's how one hybrid compares to another in terms of moisture at harvest. And I think the best way to understand it is with some numbers. So if we were to pretend we had a plot, and let's say it was harvested on October 20th. So our plot comes off on the 20th of October. And we had one hybrid, we'll call it hybrid A, and it's a known uh, corn, it's been around for a while, and everyone seems to agree how, what the maturity is, it's well understood. So hybrid A, it comes off at 23%, and this known hybrid is listed as 100 day corn, so 100. And we've got a new corn that we're bringing to the market, one that we're investigating, we wanna know how to, to, to name it and to, to list it for its maturity, and that's, hy that's hybrid B, and it comes off at 25%. So it's 2% wetter. So what would we call it in terms of relative maturity? We'd refer to that as 104 day corn. And why is that? Well, because it's 2% wetter, the assumption is that corn is drying down at half a point per day after black layer. And so because it's 2% wetter, it is ultimately four days longer. And so quite simply, that's relative maturity. It's how does one hybrid compare to another in terms of moisture at, at harvest time. It is a little bit different than the crop heat unit system because the crop heat unit system is referring to how much heat does it take to reach black layer, i.e. physiological maturity. And so what happens is sometimes there's discrepancies between what the crop heat unit rating is and what the relative maturity is because certain hybrids will dry faster than others and certain will dry slower than others. So if you have two corn that are both 3,000 heat units, one might be called a lesser relative maturity because it dries down fast and the other might be called slightly longer because it has slightly uh, slower dry down. And I think at the end of the day, it's very important that when we're looking at a hybrid, we look at both the relative maturity and the crop heat unit rating because that's going to provide the full picture about how that corn is going to behave and ultimately mature. But I think the best thing I can recommend is if you've got questions on maturity, get a hold of your pride seed representative, ask some questions and get the clarity you require.